the Timberwolves pulled away from the Suns 105 to 93 to go up 2 0 in the series. Um, we just mentioned them, but Jaden McDaniels was the best player on the floor last night. He had 25 points, eight rebounds, played phenomenal defense in typical fashion, a few assists. Uh, Gobert and Ant, well, Ant didn't really have a stellar game. Ant only scored 15, but it was it was a collective effort. All five starters had uh, scored in double figures. Nikhil Alexander-Walker came. He had 10 points as well. Rudy Gobert, 18-9. and nine. Mike Conley had a, a hell of a score in first half. And on the other end, the Suns just didn't quite – do what they they stink. Do best. Just call it how it is. They mm. stink. Okay, right, that's it. They stink. There we go. All right. We can skate around it. They're just bad. They're a bad team. Sons are they a bad team, Oz? Are, are, are they a bad? Oh yeah. Are they a bad team, Oz? Are they again, like you just said? All Minnesota did was whole serve. That's all they did. That's what, how that is they, what did. they did. Yeah, that's all they did was whole serve. But if you look at the if you look at the dynamic of this series, the gl- the the glaring deficiency that I see with, 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 with Phoenix, they have zero rim protection. None. Because they have zero rim protection, Rudy can dive to the basket when he's got Bradley Beal switched on him. Or when they had that pick and roll action as high as they have it, when now the offense is even spread out even more with Jaden McDaniels in one corner and uh, Alexander Walker at the, at, at, the, uh, at the other long ball line, if they're there, that offense is wide open. And Mike Conley does a great job with Rudy and dragging those guys away from the basket and delaying enough to get Rudy to dive to the basket where he's wide open. They could actually get that more one cuz Phoenix doesn't have any Phoenix doesn't have any rim protection and the other rim protection that they do have too is KD on the weak side and he's late because he's got to get to he's, he's got to pick his poison either dive to Rudy or he's got to or he's going to be late at the long ball line. I think these guys are overmatched at this particular time. I think they're overmatched. I think that one-on-one defensively, I think Minnesota is doing a great job. And I also think that they're doing a great job making Phoenix guard on the other end. That's the difference in all of this. Making Devin Booker guard. Making um, Bradley Beal guard. Making Eric Gordon. Making all of these guys guard. Making Nurkic get on the backboard. None of these guys can do anything with Minnesota. I think Minnesota did a great job at handling these guys at home. Great job. I miss the old KD. These guys get old, Moss. I'm sorry. These guys get old, man. man. I miss the old KD. Yeah, yo. These guys get old, man. Which which one is more? Because it's obviously it's two different things. It's you seeing like a guy like KD get older, take a step back. But then you also get to see the new generation of Ant, J-Mac, and see these guys coming to their own. Or what's what's more exciting, or which which, which one trumps the other? Well, one's ex- one's a positive. Yeah, one's well, a well, yeah, 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 yeah. So, which 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 one is more like? Are you more disappointed, or are you more excited to see these guys step up and show you that they really for real? I'd rather be positive than negative. I'd rather look to the future and how bright the future of the NBA is than reminisce on what KD used to be. So, I'm always going to pick the future over the past. But I still do miss the old KD, man. I miss the old KD. Like, it is what it is. I miss the What do you KD. miss about him, Moss? What, what, what do you miss about the old KD? What, when what KD about- would turn the corner and he's going to get to the room and finish. Now we got KD turning the corner, having to spin back and take jumpers. Like, because- I miss when KD was able to, when KD had burst and acceleration and he could blow by you. And then if you, if you manage to recover, then he could snatch back and he got every mid-range jumper in the game. I miss that. Right. Now you got KD, like, you just know he's not getting to the rim. Like it's just sad. I miss I miss the old KD. I miss the KD that was one of the most athletic seven footers we ever seen. Now we just got a jump shooter. Like he's still great, but I miss <clears> the old KD, man. It's just it's, it's, it's KD me. turning into what Dirk was turning into when he was in Dallas later on. If he was as strong as Dirk, he could be, but nah, he's not he's not strong enough either. So like he was never strong. So his quickness was his advantage, his quickness right. and his size. Now he just has the size advantage, but he's got no quickness, so he's just relying on jumpers. You get to the playoffs where teams are able to play on your jumper heavier, and because you're not able to punish them by getting to the rim, it's tough. I just missed the old KD. That's all it is. I don't mm-hmm. get how does dumb on logic. I, I don't understand how does dumb logic. I just said I missed the old KD. I right. Don't get dumb. I don't think it's dumb logic, Miles. I'm, I'm, I'm. Go ahead, bro. go ahead, Ox. I'm sorry. Just no, I, I was, I was just gonna say they need a um, need a need a Devin Carey job. 
You know, I, I think I think Brad's playing. Uh, I think Brad's trying to get the rest of the team going. I think Brad's really giving the energy that they need. Uh, they, they need they need a Devin Booker carry job where where KD can still can still provide a lot on the offensive end. They need to lean more on Devin. Devin needs to step up and be the one to to um, take him over because game three they can easily turn it around. Like I, the, but how the though? Are, are how though? I, making, because making, like, making like, shots, like, turning it up. Yeah, it's, it's going to be ridiculous shot making. That's what. That's how they win but, games. They just they like, out shoot teams. Because what it sounded to me, Ox, it sounded to me like okay, sure, we don't want to make more of this than what it is. When we just talk about just mm-hmm. playing ball, because that's what I want to stick with, mm-hmm. right? I just want to stick mm-hmm. with yo, just playing ball. But when you got a guy like Jaden McDaniels in front of you, and you just brought up to me how Ant turns him up. So Jaden McDaniels mm-hmm. and his principles going up against an older guy in KD who Mars just got finished talking about doesn't have that burst when he's at when he when he's turning the corner doesn't have that mm-hmm. lift on his shot when he was turning the corner right so with that being said if I got a young guy on me who's basically been doing a good job of covering me and making me take tough shots not just him making me take tough shots also Anthony Edwards also Cat crowding him and bumping him like when we just talk about basketball and we just talk about playing ball like how do you combat that? Well, I mean, De- Devin Booker got all the all the counters, all the the ability to get to a spot, the ability to make tough shots. It's not like Jaden Jaden's not gonna clamp Devin Booker four games. You know what I mean? Like he can he can play he can play this this yeah. That's just not gonna happen. You you're just okay. not gonna just clamp somebody seven games. You know what I'm saying? Four 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 games, five games. It's just not gonna happen. Devin Booker's gonna get get some off on it. Uh, <laughs> like Brad's gonna hit some shots. KD's gonna hit some shots. Unfortunately, you see how great what how Grayson Allen did his ankle again last night. I'm yeah. not sure if he's yeah, he probably able to done. He probably done. He probably that done. was ugly. That that's I was in pain when he I saw that. Walk. That hurt. Yeah, but I mean, that's just that's Jaden, Jaden, and, and they're not gonna with the firepower over there in Phoenix, they're not gonna clamp that down four or five games. Like, but they you know, so but, but that being I, said, I, I, I had the Suns winning it though, but I, I might. Yeah. I might have been wrong about that, but it's not going to be like a four-game sweep or nothing. This is going to. No, I, 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 I don't. I don't games. think. Sure. I don't think we're going that far, Ox. But to hold them under a hundred, right? To hold to hold yeah. them under a hundred in both the games. Sure, it's on the road, but to hold them under a hundred in both the games, and in the fashion that they held them under a hundred, no rim protection, pushing KD away from the basket. KD obviously mm-hmm. doesn't look like, in the, in the words of Mars, the KD of old. Devin Booker has to guard on the defensive end. And that's taken mm-hmm. away from a lot of his offense. So the fact that he's having to do that same thing with, with Bradley Bill, where they're putting him in switches, where Rudy's diving to the basket, and he gets caught on Rudy, or he gets caught on Jaden McDaniels diving to the basket or in the perimeter. When these guys have to guard like that, that takes away from their offense. Now, when we get back to Phoenix, how are we going to change that? Because defensively, Minnesota's not going to do anything different. They're a one-on-one defensive team. The ball doesn't move in Phoenix. It's not like they're the Warriors or the Miami Heat where the ball is hopping. How do we change that? Yeah, well, that's just like that. You know, the I mean, coaches got to coach. They got to get back to the drawing boards. They they got some offense over there that they just got to start getting the ball moving. You don't need a facilitator to run offense. You know what I'm saying? That's the point. That's the point of running offense. That's the point of having sets is that we have to move without the ball. We have to move the ball. We have to set picks. We have to we have to dive. We have to have some type of motion going. That's the whole point of having it is so that we don't rely on one person to get us open. So if they can start moving the ball a little more in Phoenix, knocking down some more shots, right? Then yeah, the, the series the series turns all the way around, and that's not far fetched. Like in the, in the NBA playoffs, you have to win away. So if if right. Minnesota wins Game Three, then it's mm-hmm. over. If they win Game Four, it's over. Phoenix has right. got to go win at home. So now, when you talk about a table set, of, when you talk about a table set of ox, that's exactly what they need. Because when the offense gets help to skelter, when we get in the half court, all we're doing is giving the ball to Devin Booker. Like you just said, mm-hmm. Devin Booker's got to carry. Well, Devin Booker can't carry because he's got to carry the load on defense, having to deal with Anthony, having to deal with Anthony Edwards. He's having the time having to deal with that. Why is he not Bill Gordon? I don't think that that's gonna. I don't think that that's gonna make any difference. But even let's just say for the sake of argument that that's true that Bradley Beal covers him, we're still gonna get Devin Booker in action. We're still gonna make Devin Booker guard on some level, which is gonna take away from his offense. Now add KD into that. Who now KD is probably your best rebounder. I'm not your best rebounder. One of your best rebounders. Well, we're making him guard too. We're making him guard Nurkic. We're beating on him with Cat. Right. We're beating on him with these other big guys. 
that's taken away from a lot of your offense. So now I got a point. Now I don't have a point guard. I don't have a table setter because we don't run any action. We don't run any pin downs or other action. It's a pin down, KD, square up, go one-on-one. -on -one. Pin down, um, Bradley Bill, one-on-one. -on -one. Devin Booker out high, screen high, come off the screen, knock down the mid-range. There is no real action. That's playing right into Minnesota's hands. If you had a lead guard where we can actually run some offense, then I can possibly get with you, Ox. But because we don't have that, how can we how can we really combat with that defense? Hey, uh, it's